Welcome back. Today we are making a 3D tileable road for my upcoming puzzle traffic game. For diving in, we need a plan. The base component is going to be a perfect square, and that is going to be the intersection. And then on all four sides, we're going to have roads leading into the intersection. And those roads are going to have other roads leading into them. These roads are going to be connected to each other, but those roads will also have to be connected to the intersection. Now to keep the intersection as generic as possible, I'm just going to keep it as a square. So that means the roads are going to have to have some level of indication that they are in fact connected to an intersection. For doing some research, I found that most roads that connect to intersections have either like a crosswalk or a stop line. So we will definitely have that as well. And we have to keep in mind we have to build that. So that basically means we need to do three things. The first thing we need to build is the intersection. The second thing we have to build is a road, a tiles. And the third thing is a road plus intersection connector. It's pretty straightforward, so let's dive into Blender. So now in Blender, we have two very simple models. They each are basically cubes. Uh, the intersection itself is a perfect square, and the road is about a ratio of four to three. Um, and that's really all we need. All of the heavy lifting will be done in the texture. We just need something to put the texture on. So that is that. So we export the model as an FBX, and the next thing to do is load it up into Quixel Mixer. So Quixel is a company that makes a lot of texturing tools, and if you're using the Unreal Engine, you get access to all these tools for free. Why am I using Quixel Mixer? Well, the truth is, I don't know how to use anything else. This is the only thing I know how to do when it comes to texturing, so I'm going to use it. So I popped open Quixel Bridge here. This is their Mega Scans library, and I've got my eyes set on this fine asphalt 2x2 two two meter. Um, this looks like a pretty great texture to build off of. We are going for a stylized look, so I probably will get rid of this albedo coloring. Um, but I do want the occlusion layer and the normal map to give it a little bit of a bumpy feel. So I'm going to import that into Quixel Mixer. And we'll just apply that to the base layer. And I've removed the albedo coloring there. So the next step is to actually paint on the traffic lines. Unfortunately, if you're using a custom mesh in Mixer and not the default plane, you actually cannot paint straight lines on it. It probably is something to do with the UV map, um, but that's not a big of a problem. We're going to just make masks for ourselves in, in Photoshop. Here's a pretty basic mask. If you don't know what a mask is, you can think of it kind of like a stencil. So there's only black and white, ones and zeros. If there's white, that means full color can get through it. If it's black, then no color can get through it. And so imagine a stencil and you're just spray painting across the white line, remove the black or the, the mask, and you're left with whatever was there. So that's what this is. This is our first mask. It's essentially just a line, and then it'll be the outside traffic line. The second mask will be the um, middle of the road. Not too sure exactly what to call that. And finally, to differentiate between a normal tileable road and an intersection connection, I've got this design here. So in Mixer, I've just added a solid layer of white. And then I'm just going to apply that mask we made as the opacity mask or opacity channel. And there we go. We get a nice little painted line there. We duplicate that onto the other side there is our other line. Same process for the middle lines. Instead of white, I'm using yellow. And finally, the intersection representation. And we've designed this in a way so that we can simply just flip it over uh, and the intersection connector is not showing up on the reverse side but it is on the other side and I'm pretty happy with that so the next thing we have to do is just export it so we export our 
um, texture files into Quixel Bridge. And then within Quixel Bridge, it's really easy. All we have to do is click export and we're going to be exporting that texture and mesh right into Unreal Engine. Back in Unreal, I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think it's looking absolutely great. Just a minor issue with the tiling over on this end. It's a bit, um, it's not quite center. But other than that, I think it's starting to look fantastic. This is a great version one uh, or first draft. I'll probably make some modifications to it in the future as well as add some curves and turns and whatnot. But for now, I think it looks great. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.